Hey, this is Ashley from madlemmings.com and today we're going to do a tutorial on Canva and how to start choosing your design. The most important thing you do when you first start using Canva is to decide what kind of design or layout you would like to use. Now that's mostly done here at the top. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different layouts up here. Now on the left hand side, we've got Pinterest and social media. And as you move across, it's kind of a bit mixed up, but you've got things like presentations posters, Facebook, and if we keep scrolling across, you've got Twitter header, which has just come out in May or April 2014. You can also make a document, a card, such as a greeting card, a photo collage, a business card, an invitation, or a Facebook ad. And we'll just take a brief look at some of these and the kind of differences it makes when choosing them. But the first thing you'll notice is when you hover over them is you get the dimensions of these cards. Now, the physical cards like the business card and so forth are measured in centimeters. So you might want to convert those to inches. An inch is about two and a half centimeters. So this one would then be about three and a half inches by two inches. For example, a standard business card, I'm sure. But if it's not, just be careful that you might need to cut it off a bit depending on what a business card is in your country. Now let's switch back to the beginning here and quickly jump into a few of the different ones. For example, Pinterest. And the main difference you'll get here is the standard template that you see here with the white area that you'll be working in and the kinds of choices you have for templates on the left. And as you can see, these are very poster oriented kind of templates. And with Canva, you can edit everything on there and change the layout completely, but they're a good basis for your work. So you want to know that you're starting with the right kind of template. The next one is a general square social media image. Again, you'll see similar kinds of templates to the Pinterest one, but they're exactly 800 by 800 pixels. And if we scroll across one that's quite different is presentations. This is actually a multi-page uh, presentation. So it starts with one page. You can add another one here. You can copy pages and so forth. And you can see that these are then done in landscape form and some of the presentations are quite different. They're obviously more oriented towards making a PowerPoint presentation or something similar. And then the Facebook cover is obviously specific for Facebook cover. The blog graphic again is similar to the ones we've just looked at, but some of the ones that are quite different, for example, if you look at a card, they've already got some uh, greeting card ideas in here, birthdays, Mother's Day, I love you, hello, thank you, that kind of stuff. So this is really good if you want to print a card. You can do that straight from Canva without having to spend the five or six bucks you need to pay for cards these days. And the uh, photo collage, again, is quite different. So it's good to jump into the right template when you're starting out. Lots of different spots for adding photos in here. Lots of different layouts for multiple photos, diagonal with text already placed for you and so forth. So that's really cool. And another one is uh, the invitation. That's again very specific. It's a square invitation. I'm not sure how easy it is to print square cards. I don't have that paper, but if you're wanting to do that, that's already set out for you. Sally's going overseas, happy birthday, save the date and so forth. So when you're starting out in Canva, it pays to know what the options are and what kind of templates you can choose from all of these different options. And especially if you're using social media or cards or presentations, there's already something in here for you to choose from, which is probably perfect for what you want. The other option you have is if none of these fits and you know exactly what kind of dimensions you need, or at least approximately, you can choose this here, this custom dimensions area, and click on that and type in exactly what you need in terms of pixels, millimeters, or inches. So it obviously caters to both US English and non US audiences, and then you can create a template exactly from the size that you require. So that's it for getting started with Canva. That's the first step you want to make in every single uh, layout that you do in Canva. And next we'll be getting into the design phase, which is obviously a lot more fun. And I'm going to be breaking that down into all the important areas you need to consider, such as photos, backgrounds, text, overlays, and uh, other image elements that you need for using Canva and making a great or awesome image. So jump into the next video and take a look at the how to get your layouts looking really good and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.